Now, a bit of news before we end this week's notes from the bookstore, and this is some true news. You, you, you are, are, are you going to be mentioning Milo in this section? I absolutely am. Milo okay. Milo Yiannopoulos, alt-right dickface and believer of dumbass ideas that are all wrong. Yeah. He somehow managed to score a big time, big figure book deal with a major book publisher. But then there mm-hmm. was a ton of pushback on account of uh, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos makes a living out of saying the absolute worst freaking things. Yes. He once called a reporter a shit media Jew once. Mm hmm. He outed a trans student at a lecture at a college once. Yeah. He called feminism and uh, Islam a cancer on society. Yeah. Feminism. And he once claimed in a really crappy bit of clickbait that Donald Trump is the nation's first black president. <laughs> The first real black president. Yeah. He's a hate mongering dick cheese. So his publisher, Simon and Schuster, canceled his big book deal. Right. And that should be a win. Uh huh. But no, what he did is he got his book that was already ready to be published by Simon and Schuster and he self published his book. Right. And self publishing is the bane of your local bookstore. Because basically, You go to a self-publishing book publisher, you pay them to publish your book. And what happens now is, technically, the book doesn't exist. It does not exist until you pay for it. Then it is printed out by this fly-by-night company and sent directly to your house. Mm -hmm. So, basically, anybody can now publish a book. Yeah. Anyone. There's a lot of 60 and 70 year olds telling their lame ass story. And now Milo Yiannopoulos Mm -hmm. is telling his story. But this, this ass waffle is great at pissing people off and then playing the victim. Yeah. So he spews his hate and gets people pissed off and gets people riled up and gets people as angry as he can so that when people cancel his events, he turns and goes, how dare you violate my free speech? Yeah. But this isn't a First Amendment is- issue. You're just a jackass, you know? Yeah. And, and that's And that's what really annoys me about the whole free speech thing is that how many people do not understand what free speech is, you know, I cannot violate Milo's first amendment, right? I cannot do that. You cannot do that. Only the government can do that. Yeah. You have free speech in that the government will not interfere in what you say and will not try to stop or censure you. Yeah, that doesn't mean you get to say any belief you have or whenever and wherever you want. Well, it means yeah. that that oh, never mind. I lost it. What? Yeah, so Me nobody what? nobody violates Milo's right by protesting. Nobody yeah. violates yeah. Ann Coulter's right by protesting. You have stupid shit to say. We don't want you to say it. That's our First Amendment right now. You yeah. don't get to have more First Amendment rights because you have shitty things to say. And if or we, because if you're we, rich and famous. If we keep in mind what the First Amendment is actually pretending, pretending, pretending to, and, and what freedom of speech is, a lot of this shit would just go away. You know? Yeah. So like this, you know, because certain things will just, society will look at certain things and just go, well, that was stupid. You know? Protesting Ann Coulter, really, kind of a fucking waste of time, isn't it? That was kind of stupid. You know? Yeah. They still had their right to do it. Yeah. You know? 
and I had just heard a radio station, a publicly funded radio station in um, Berkeley had canceled an interview with Richard Dawkins because yes. they feel that he is um, Islamophobic. Yes. Okay. And it's like, the government didn't do it. I mean, I got some questions about a public station and what that really means. I mean, yeah. if it's funded by government money, he should, they shouldn't have, but other than that, do it. And the rest of us will just chalk it up to some stupid fucking thing. A radio station did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You want to do it, go ahead and do it. And you'll, yeah. you'll get whatever backlash you get from it. Yeah. So what Milo Yiannopoulos did is he self-published his book. We do not carry self-published books because any uh, jackhole can self-publish a book. When you self-publish a book, that means that it's not returnable, yeah. which means this was printed out specifically for you. And if you decide not to buy it, this isn't something that we can return for our to the publisher and get money back. Right. We lose money with a self-published book. So if you want a self-published book, if you want Milo Yiannopoulos' book, come on in, pay for it. We'll have it sent directly to your house. This isn't something right now that we can carry in the store. Yeah. However, our company has said that because of the popularity of this book, we are trying to work with the publisher to eat, to get books available for the stores. So we mm -hmm. are working on carrying this book because it's a popular book and we just carry popular books. But he self-published it. And now he's saying, how dare I not carry my book? Yeah. But it's not. But and, and other signed, book carriers. Yeah. 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 yeah yes. Yes. How, how dare bookstores not carry my book? But it's not that bookstores aren't carrying it. It's just that you're self-publishing this book. Anybody can self-publish a book. You're you're making yourself the victim when it's your fault. Yeah. You're the one who lost the book deal. Mm -hmm. You're the one who is now being forced to self-publish your book through through your own freaking website. And now you're like, how dare Target not carry my book? You you can only get it through your website. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Milo Yiannopoulos is the bane of my existence right now. So right now we literally have right-wing alt-right people calling us and yelling at us because we're not carrying his book. Mm -hmm. This is now happening all the time. I, I had seen it pop up on Facebook here and there. I, I did not realize that they were calling you as well. Yeah, and they're coming in and they're saying, how come you don't carry this book? How come you don't how come you don't have this? Yeah. Why do you refuse to carry this book? It's not that we refuse to carry this book. It's just we can't right now because right now it is a non-returnable book that's only being published by this one guy. Yeah. It's only being released by him. He controls the means of production. Mm -hmm. It's like if I started making T-shirts right. and only I am making the T-shirts, but then I get people riled up by saying, how dare Walmart refuse to carry my T-shirts? Yeah. And people go to Walmart yelling at Walmart, how dare you not carry Steve's t-shirts? Well, let's say it, that's Steve's fault. That's not ours. He's the one doing this. He's the one making the shirt. That's basically my life right now, and it's not fun. Mm -hmm. Basically, a bunch of people who already hated us have found a reason to hate us. Yes. And people who have never come into the bookstore are now saying, I just want you to know that I am never coming into your bookstore again. And, I'm like, and, oh, yeah. and, and we really need for people to have more reasons to dislike books. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, really? I thought you were such a huge reader. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, good job uh, protecting uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, because Lord <laughs> knows he's crying right now mm -hmm. in his tower in, up in a castle, crying because a one bookstore won't carry his books. Good job yeah. defending him. <laughs> yeah. He's worth fighting over. The biggest thing that pisses me off, well, beyond his existence, the biggest yeah. thing that pisses me off about Milo or whatever, which version would he hate the most? I bet you he hates being called Milo. I'm going to call him Milo. Probably. Uh, the, you know, in his own head, he fancies himself a modern day Oscar Wilde. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He probably thinks that he is witty and yeah. and hip and bold and yeah. daring and scandalous. And it's no, you're a douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. He probably thinks that just the sun shines out of his backside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. even the title of his book, Dangerous, it's like, M Milo, you are not dangerous. Yeah. You're, you're, ju you're, you're just a loud mouth. Yeah. You're, you're an annoyance. You know, and we always had people like Milo. Obviously, Milo's a bit of an extreme, but just some of these people, Kim Kardashian might as well be Milo. These people that are almost like celebrity ticks on the body of yeah. society. Yeah. You know? And yeah. they're just not worth anything. They're talked about for a little while. And then they fall off and die. Yeah. I can't think of any other good examples because that's how non-memorable they are. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. 